This is the current setup. Let it run in and drive in. I say electronic issues box is roughly the same length so I shouldn't need a whole lot of modifying hopefully I can still use the mount setup I've got modify it slightly and modify a prop all right let's lift this thing out open space. I'm going to whip the flex plate off and then I can set about modifying it. Box on Omega box, MX-5 box. Got the two flex plates out. So Saab one is originally three bolt but the Omega is six bolt uh, torque converter. So I transferred it to six bolts. I'm going to do the same again but uh, four bolts. And what I'm going to do is like hub centrically line them up so that's a bigger hole than that one. So, what I'll do, I love using the lathe anyway, so I'll turn something up which is the diameter of the MX5 one, then steps up to this one so they're perfectly aligned, and then I can transfer the four holes through. Right, I've got a piece of aluminium in my uh, trusty Colchester. Shit. Oh no, no! Cut. Okay, second attempt. That's on nice and snug. Uh, but like all good YouTubers, I'm gonna make it look like I did it in one take. That is super snug on that. That is super snug on that. Marked out. Roughly where I'm going to have the holes. Then I'm going to take the whole thing to the pillar drill. Drop the 12mm drill bit through. Then I'll probably chuck a bolt in just to hold it in place to get the rest. Right, so doing some measuring. There's a pump drive in the input of the gearbox and that provides all the hydraulic pressure for the automatic transmission to change gears and putting pressure on the clutches etc. Well there's a flat section on the torque converter that engages on these flats in the oil pump. You've got to get that, that right. If you don't get them flats engaging that pump, well it's just, it's just not going to work. So I've been doing some measurements and I know I was going to have to do some sort of extending of something somewhere. So from the back end of the oil pump to the main face of the bell I was in, it's 192 millimetres. And then from the main face of the engine to the end of the torque converter, the oil pump drive is 166 millimetres. So I'm going to have to come up with some plans. Right, so I've had to think about it, and this is the plan I've come up with. Well, I need to extend this 26 millimeters to get it all to sit in its original position. Piece of steel. This will thread on that. These will be 26 millimeters long. I'm actually going to drill them all the way through, so that, and then thread them entirely, and then I'll send bolts in to hold the flex plate and the torque convert together. And for the snout of this, just a little adapter which I'll pick up on the centre of that. OK, 
Okay, so I turned that bar down, chopped it into four, broke a part and off tool in the process, tapped it to 10 by 1. There will be four of them. I've recessed slightly, clear this raised section. So it butts up against that tightly. This is going to be extended. I'm going to thread lock that uh, in there. And then that is a decent fit there. Right, bolted it all up. Happy with it. That all lines up like it should. Measured it and I needed less than 192 from the end of the oil pump drive to the mating face for the bell housing and I'm at 191 so happy with that. Uh, so I'm gonna thread lock these together. <laughs> When I bolted it up just then, I realised that I can't turn the flex plate, the torque converter separate to the flex plate. Um, so I need to take a little bit more material off these. Okay, it's Adam from the future here. Ignore the lack of beard. Now I said when I was test fitting it on the engine, happy with it, let's thread lock it. That was a mistake, I shouldn't have done that. I should have waited until I test fitted the engine and box together before thread locking it. I didn't. I discovered I needed to machine more off them spacers. I didn't want to risk trashing them by mole gripping them off. So I thought, it's my lathe, they're my fingers, let's put the whole torque converter in the lathe. And nothing bad happened. So there you are, that's why I did it. But it does look scary. <laughs> So I've taken these down a mil and a half shorter. Hopefully that'll sort it. Flex plate is on. Happy it turns over with no noises. I'm gonna paint that bloody thing and uh, then off fit the box into the van. I fitted the bell housing adapter, the flex plate, torqued that up, thread locked it on written myself a note for when I eventually pull the box off in about three weeks time. Just trying the spare bell housing I have and it fouls on the starter motor just ever so slightly. More or less bolted up there. So I've just taken a quick saw to this section here which is the bit fouling and I think that's enough. All right. sort of in. Time to go home. <laughs> 